Brakatha Yahawa, Brakatha Yahawa Shai, 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 Kahalayim La, Alahayanawa, Abanawa, Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahawa Shai, Bahasham, Rakhak Wadash, Kahalayim La, Alahayanawa, Abanawa, Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahawa Shai, Bahasham Rakhak Wadash, Kahalayim La, Alahayanawa, Abanawa, Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahawa Shai, Bahasham Rakhak Wadash. Shema Yashur Allah, Yahawa. Allah Yanawa Yahawa Aho Shema Yashur Allah Yahawa Allah Yanawa Yahawa Aho Shema Yashur Allah Yahawa Allah Yanawa Yahawa Brakat the Yahawa, Shai, Brakat the Yahawa, Brakat the Yahawa Shai, Brakat the Yahawa, Brakat the Yahawa Shai. Double honor to all the apostles and all the bishops, great millstone. Peace and blessing to the house of David the elect. Peace and blessing to the house of David the elect. Beginning with the hundred forty and four thousand. The Ten Commandments were written on tables of lapis lazuli. The Ten Commandments were written on tablets of lapis lazuli, you know. And I have some lapis lazuli here with me, you know, to, uh, you know, make an example using it. We have royal laws, bro. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai gave his people royal laws. I'm gonna say that again. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai gave his people royal laws because the Most High Yahweh is royal. He's a great king. He's the king of the universe. Okay? And his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, is also the king of the universe. Under him. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai gave us royal laws. The tables of stone that Moses received were made out of lapis. The reason why I'm speaking on this is because. You know, we have to think about what the lapis lazuli represents, you know. Now, every brother isn't into the stones. You know, every brother and sister isn't into it. But it's a reason why I'm doing this lesson, okay? So what I want to do, I want to begin reading the uh, the Lord's Prayer. I'm going to read it in the Hebrew, okay? And then we're going to go to uh, to Matthew chapter 6, all right? So let's go. It's the Lord's Prayer in the ancient Hebrew. You know, courtesy of our elder apostles and elder bishops. All right. So just follow along with me. You know, and you can see it's um, transliterated. OK. But for those of you that don't know this prayer, I highly advise that you learn this prayer. This is the most important prayer for you to learn. You know, our Lord, Yahweh Shai said, learn this prayer. OK, so I'm going to you know, run through it for you. I do one palal, which means Lord's Prayer. Abinawa Shabashamayam Kodash Hayashim Ka Yahawa Bashim Yaw Shai Malakwatka Tabaa Rataza Ka Haya Aisha Baa Rataza Kawa Haya Bashamayam Nathanlanawa Lacham Kalyawam Wasalachla Nawa Kawawat Nawa Kasalach Nawa Kawawati Nawa Wala Ah Tabaya Anawa, Banasaya one, Abal, Hawashai Nawa, 
Mayan, Rai, Kayalaka, Hamalakwath, Wahaala, Wahata Parath, Liwalamium, Amun. You know, but instead of saying Amun, we say the water, the Yad, Tawab. Okay. Now, dealing with this section here, that's what I mainly want to deal with. Ba'arataza Kawa Haya Bashamayam. Now let's go to the gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 6, and verse 9. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Hallowed be thy name, Yahweh. That's the name of the Most High. And we say, by Shem Yahweh Shai. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. That's the point. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Now it says, Amen, which means uh, so be true. But once again, uh, we say the water, the yad, to wab. Okay, the water means thanks, them yad always to wab, which means make it good. Okay, the point it says, Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Now, when you look at this stone right here, the, the lapis lazuli is patterned after the night sky. Okay, when you look at the night sky. When you look at the sky, period, you know, um, going back to uh, Genesis, the uh, the sky is known as the heavens. You know, you have what's called the Shemayim, the heavens, because you got to keep in mind we're on a planet, but this planet, you know, planet Earth, is in what's called outer space. Okay, you know, so when you look at the Shemayim, when you look at the heavens. The lapis lazuli is patterned after the heavens, you know. So like we read in Lord's Prayer on earth as it is in heaven is a reason why our heavenly father, Yahweh, had his royal laws written on tables of lapis lazuli. It wasn't regular rock, you know. It was rock made out of lapis lazuli because lapis lazuli is patterned after the heavens. You know, now the Lord knew that we couldn't keep the law perfectly. Ultimately, we need to be changed because, you know, uh, the balance to that. Also, the reason why the laws were written on tables of stone, it represented Israel's stony heart. It represented our minds, you know, because Israel is hard headed. You know, the Lord knew we were obstinate. He, he knew that we wouldn't keep the laws because of the flesh. You know. So, you know, uh, rock representing a, a stiff neck, you know, representing rebellion, ultimately. But the, the reason why it was lapis because once again, it's patterned after the heavens, as it tells us in the Lord's Prayer, on earth as it is in heaven. Because see, in the spiritual world, everything is in order. Everything is in order in the fourth dimension. But see, the Lord is going to bring order to the earth because ultimately he's going to make us perfect. Okay. And, you know, you got to think about it. Our forefathers saw great wonders and signs, you know, when the Lord brought us out of ancient Egypt, you know. He showed our people great wonders and signs, man. You know, matter of fact, I have for you here the movie Close Encounters of the Third Kind, you know. And every time I look at this movie, you know, cover, every time I look at this movie cover, it reminds me of how our forefathers we're at that Mount Sinai. Now, this is a different mountain, but just seeing this image right here, you know, seeing this chariot, this humongous chariot over this mountain reminds me of how our forefathers were at Mount Sinai. They were at the foot of that mount receiving the law, statutes, and commandments. You know? Oh, another thing, too. When it came to that chariot that the Heavenly Father showed us, let's read a little bit about that. Because you got Israel out here. They claim to be all about the laws, right? You know, 
the, the border of blue. Well, I want to show you something real quick, which recently the beloved elder, elder um, Yashawamba, the beloved elder Yashawamba spoke on this, you know, the reason why we have the, uh, the border of blue on our garments. He spoke on it and the, uh, the brother Captain uh, Abaya down here in Mississippi, he spoke on it as well, responding to Elder Yashawamba. So what I want to do, let me go to, um, let's go to the right book. We're going to go to Exodus chapter 24. So bear with me, Baba Kasha. And before I started, man, I had to light me some good frankincense. You know, I wanted my room to smell like heaven to do this video, man. I needed to, you know, really be in the right mindset. It's good to burn frankincense, bro. And myrrh also. Exodus chapter 24 and getting to the point. Exodus chapter 24. And um, we're going to read verse 9 on down. Now, when you read this, this is after the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, made a covenant with Israel. You know, the old covenant. You know. Th this is taking place after we got the covenant, man. Now, this is Exodus 24 and 9. Then went up Moses and Aaron and Adab and Abihu and 70 of the elders of Israel. And they saw the God of Israel. Now, now question did they literally see the most high let's keep reading and there was under his feet as it were a paved work of a sapphire stone and as it were the body of heaven in his clearness they didn't see the most high but they saw a closer view of his ship you know they saw a closer view of his ship you know what i'm saying which that's why you see me here. I got this movie cover out and also it came with a little booklet. This movie Close Encounters of the Third Kind because, you know, they show you the chariots. You know, and when the Most High Yahweh came down in that chariot. You know, now it was over Mount Sinai, but when he came down over that mountain, he allowed. You know, certain chosen men of Israel to come closer to get the closest view of that ship, you know, and they saw the God of Israel and there was under his feet as it were a paved work of a sapphire stone. Now, now for sapphire stone, it means lapis lazuli. And that should remind you of how we have the border of blue under our feet. You know, now they really saw his ship, you know, and um, them looking at, you know, the bottom of that ship, them seeing the lights on that ship. It, it resembled lapis lazuli, you know? As were the body of heaven in its clearness. Once again, lapis lazuli, when you look at it, it represents the night sky. So that's how the bottom of the Heavenly Father's ship looked. That's how the bottom of that chariot looked, man. You know? You, know, you, you see the uh, lapis lazuli, you know, it has the, uh, the speckles of pyrite, has the calcite. Once again, it resembles the heavens. OK. But I'm reading this because it shows you that everything is spiritual. OK. Ultimately, what the Lord is bringing to this earth is what's being um, it, it's, it's patterned after the heavens. OK. These are royal laws he gave us. And they saw the God of Israel and there was under his feet as it were a paved work of a sapphire stone, which is lapis. Lazuli, and as were the body of heaven in his clearness. And upon the nobles of the sons of Israel, he laid not his hand. Yeah, because really, them getting that close to that ship, they could have been put to death. You know, actually, it was very dramatic. When, when, we, when uh, we received the law, statutes, and commandments, the Lord didn't want anyone to get too close to that mountain. Because th that, that chariot, you know, that, that ship would, uh, would shoot you with a laser, man. Man or beast, it didn't matter who you were. You know, you you could have, you could have got the smoke. You know, as as uh, Jake say. But the Lord didn't put these men to death, because you know, Lord showed favor to him. And upon the nobles of the sons of Israel, he laid not his hand, 
Also, they saw the most high, meaning they saw his ship and they did eat and drink, you know. And let, let me see, man. I want to read that in this version here. Um, this is the uh, New Living Translation. OK, now it says Life Application Study Bible. But really, it's the uh, it's the NLT. OK. And you go to Exodus 24 and 9. Then Moses, Aaron, and Nadab, and Abihu, and 70 of the elders of Israel climbed up the mountain. There they saw the God of Israel. Under his feet there seemed to be a surface of brilliant blue lapis lazuli. As clear as the sky itself. They saw that chariot. They got a closer view. And though these nobles of Israel gazed upon the Most High, he did not destroy them. In fact, they ate a covenant meal, eating and drinking in his presence. Right. You know, and um, I want to stick to the main point too. dealing with the laws. The Lord gave us royal laws, bro. You know, um, and you see this movie cover right here, uh, you know, the Ten Commandments by Cecil D. DeMille's. And, and they show you the Israelites looking differently. They, they didn't look like how they're, how they're depicted in this movie. We know that the Israelites are people of color, you know. Originally, you know, we're people of color. Now we've been scattered. We look different today, but originally our people were people of color. But but they show you the, the laws written on regular stone. Know that no was written on lapis, because as is written, the Lord's prayer on earth as it is in heaven. You know, which shows you also the Lord. He has to make us perfect. You know, we have to be made perfect. I was thinking about it too. Cause uh, spirit got on me to um to to to, uh, to think about Aaron, Aaron the uh the high priest. Now when you deal with uh with Aaron, you know I looked up the numerical value of his name without the Y in it, cause um cause some pronounce his name with a Y, but but um without the Y, if you just say Aharon, the numerical value of his name is four, which four goes into mercy. But I think about it. Ultimately, our our um, our true high priest is Yahweh Shai, because you know a high priest represented mercy. You know, a high priest represented mercy. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, everything that was done in the wilderness that was all in the spirit for what the Lord is about to do when He comes back. You know, ultimately we need to be made perfect. You know, you think about the commandments of the Lord. Really, that's going to be our programming in the kingdom. You know, and so like you, you know, I, I mentioned numbers every once in a while, you know, I wanted to stop, but it'd be a spirit on me to talk about the numbers, man. But numbers are spiritual, you know, and really it's only nine numbers, you know, um, when you just get into it. But, um, you know, hey, the Lord, he's going to program us to keep this thing right. You know, we have to be changed ultimately. But let me go back to the scriptures. I want to get Exodus 8 and 18. Let me see. Exodus chapter 8, verse 18. You know what verse... Um, you know what? That's not what I wanted. I want 31 to 18. So like you. Exodus 31 to 18. And he gave unto Moses when he had made an end of communing with him upon Mount Sinai, two tables of testimony, tables of stone written with the finger of the most high. And what does it mean when it says written with the finger of the most high? Let's go to Deuteronomy. Chapter 33, Deuteronomy chapter 33 and verse two. And he said, you know, uh, this he is uh, Moses. He said, Yahweh came from Sinai and rose up from Seir unto them. And he shined from he, he shined forth from Mount Paran and he came with ten thousands of his saints from his right hand went a fiery law for them. 
Yeah, because the Most High, he wrote those laws himself and he gave it unto Moses. OK. He gave it unto Moses to give to the people. And when you go into the history, basically the uh, the laws were, were written twice because, you know, when Moses came down from the mount, he saw the people committing idolatry. He broke the table of testimony. He broke the first two. So he received them again. You know, it show you, man, Israel pissed you off, showing you the, the, the tables of stone represented our stony heart. You know, hey, hey Moses got pissed off, man. So the, the tables had to be uh, made again with the commandments on them. All right. But I'm going to close out with, with the Ten Commandments themselves, you know, because this is basically a back to the basics, too. You know, and for those of y'all that don't know this in the Hebrew, um, w which I don't have it completely memorized myself, but I know how to read it. It's good for you to uh, to get into this. You know, I know it, you know what I'm saying? But it, it helps, you know, you know, reading it off the paper. You know what I'm saying? But it's good to get that Lord's Prayer memorized. All right. You want to get that memorized, but it's the Ten Commandments in Hebrew. I want to close out on this. Ha Aishara Matazawath, which is the Ten Commandments. La Yahaya Laka Alahayim Acharyim Al Panya, which means not have to you God's others before me. All right, and it says, La'a thy sha la'ka pasal wa la'a thy badma, which means not make to you graven image and not you serve them. And you listen to the Hebrew, the Hebrew language is very direct, okay? Let's keep reading. La'a thy la'quakath shum yahawa ba shawa, which means not. You take the name Yahweh in vain. Zakar ha Yawam ha Shabbat la Kwadashwa, which means remember the day, the Sabbath to holy it, to keep it holy. Kabad Abaka wa Amaka, which means honor your father and your mother. La'a Tharatazak, now you murder, now you commit murder. La'a thana'ap, not you adultery. You know, don't commit adultery. La'a thaganab, not you steal. Okay, thou shalt not steal. La'a thaganab. La'a thayna shakwar, not you testify falsely. La'a thachamad kal ashara la ra'aika, which means not you covet all which to your neighbors. So now you covet all which belongs to your neighbor. Okay. And I pray this is edifying, you know, now for more info to see how the laws are written, written on um, tables of lapis lazuli, you know, you can, you know, web search that because scholars actually found that information, you know, and it's true. You know, and it just makes sense once again on earth as it is in heaven. OK. On earth as it is in heaven. These are royal laws he gave us, man. You know, and in the spiritual world, everything is perfect. You know. Even when you deal with the uh, the Shemayim itself, you know, just the uh, the sky, the heavens, you know. The, the, uh, the, the bodies in the heavens, you know, the celestial bodies. You deal with the sun, the moon, the stars. They're all in order. They're all in order. They're all obedient. So the Lord, ultimately, he has to program us to be obedient. You know? So the reason why the laws were written on tables of lapis lazuli, there was a shadow of things to come. Because he's ultimately going to make us perfect. You know? Ultimately, he's going to make us perfect. You know what I'm saying? At the water to the elder brother, Ira Wong, from uh, out there in Alabama. You know, because your brother gave me this ring right here. But but this ring is it uh it resembles a tablet. <laughs> you know? It reminded me to do this lesson. This this ring looks like a tablet. You know, so that's my lesson on this, bro. I pray this is edifying. Lord willing, we have royal laws, bro. Hey man, Yahweh Bashmi I was shy is bringing us back to royalty, man. He's bringing us back to royalty, man. Royalty. Okay? 
royalty, man. Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahusha, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahusha, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahusha. Shema Yasharala Yahawa Allah Yanawa Yahawa Aho Shema Yasharala Yahawa Allah Yanawa Yahawa Aho Shema Yasharala Yahawa Allah Yanawa Yahawa Aho Brakata Yahawa Bashmi Awashai Basham Khakwadash Shalom.